Hey kids, it's Miss Sasha. Welcome back to art. Today is going to be another great day for creating. Today we're going to talk about the symbol for the United States of America, the bald eagle. Look at all these pictures of this bald eagle. This is one with a reflection. We've talked about a reflection before. This is a close-up of his eye. This is a close-up of the eagle, kind of like we're going to draw it. Here's a side view and a full view of the eagle. The bald eagle was chosen June 20th of 1782 to, symbol the, to be the symbol for the United States of America because of its long life, great strength, courage, and majestic look, and also because it's the only eagle in, that is native to North America. The eagle represents freedom. What is a symbol? Well, a symbol is something that stands for something else. A symbol is a drawing, a shape, or an object that represents an idea, an object, or an amount of something like money. The money sign means money. Um, an eagle is the symbol of the United States. Have you ever seen any of these symbols before? Hmm. Does anybody know what this symbol stands for? Any good guesses? This is a fleur de lis. This uh, is the symbol that we see on the side of the New Orleans Saints helmet for football. What about this symbol? This is a symbol that represents peace. I bet some of you have this symbol on your shoe. It's a Nike symbol or on your sweatshirt. This is for Apple computers or iPhones. And this is for recycling. I bet you've seen some of these symbols before. The United States of America symbol is the bald eagle. Many countries have chosen different animals or flowers that are special to their country. Um, Australia's symbol is a kangaroo. Um, Ireland is a shamrock or a four-leaf clover. Have you ever heard of luck of the Irish? That's what a four-leaf clover is for luck. Um, peacock is the symbol for India and the eagle is our symbol. You also see the eagle on money or on the presidential seal. You might see that sometimes. Um, the su supplies you're gonna need today is gonna be one piece of white paper and some crayons. A black crayon, a brown crayon, orange and yellow. That's what we're gonna use today. Um, now is a good time to stop your video and gather all your supplies. Now that you've gathered all your supplies, I want you to go ahead and put your supplies in front of you and put your hands in your lap. In a minute, we're gonna practice some different emotions with our face. Does this bald eagle look kind of angry to you? He looks angry to me. <laughs> this bald eagle looks angry because he doesn't have any face mus muscles like we have in our face, right? Their face, can't show very many different expressions or emotions. Their raised eyebrow right here is a piece of like, uh, let's see, it's a bony protrusion on your face or on the eagle's face like we have on our face, like our eyebrows. It's called our eye socket and the eye socket helps to protect our eyes. So if you feel your face, there's a piece of bone that goes around it. Well, the eagle also has that bone that goes around his eyes to help protect him. Maybe when he's hunting or flying through the air or flying into a tree, he might need that to protect his eyes, right? It really has nothing to do with his angry look or his attitude, right? The eagle couldn't change his look even if he wanted to. Whereas unlike humans, us, we can show our emotions, right? And our emotions are also called feelings. So, you know, like if you're happy or mad or scared, right? You feel them because of things that you see. Like if you see a rainbow, you might be, oh, look, a rainbow. You might feel surprised. That's an emotion, right? Something, something that you hear, like, hmm, a firework. If you're not ready for the firework to go pow or pop, it might scare you so your face will be like, ah, whereas an eagle will still look just like this, okay? Um, something that you remember might change your emotion. Like if you remember, oh, my, I had this sweet 
little dog for a long, long time and he got old and he passed away, that might make you sad, right? Mm. So your face would change. The eagle's still going to look like that, even if he's sad. Mm. And something that you do might change your emotions or your feelings. So if you win maybe a soccer game and you scored the winning goal, you might be proud. Yay, I scored the winning goal. If an eagle catches a good meal that night, he's going to look just like this. So whether you're sad or blue or happy and excited, you can share your feelings with other people by talking about them. So we're going to make some faces today to get all warmed up and ready to draw our eagle. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, are your hands still in your lap? If they're not, put them there because we're not going to use our hands today to get warmed up. We're going to use our face. Okay, let's see. Turn to your neighbor and show your neighbor a happy face. Is this a happy face? No, this is. Look, I'm happy. Ooh, what did I just see? Oh, I saw somebody that maybe brought me a piece of cake. Yay! It made me so happy, right? How about, hmm, what if I told you that you're not going outside today because it's raining. It might make you sad or blue. So your face changes. We have muscles in our face that we, we can change the way we look by the way we feel. So our face would be mm, down for sad, right? Hmm. How about this? Um, you are on a walk in the woods and you hear something crack in the woods and you're like, huh, what is that? You might be kind of huh, scared. What was that noise? Oh, I'm scared. You might grab onto somebody. Huh, I'm scared. So your face is like, ah, right? Hmm. How about surprise? Surprise! Yay! Is that surprised? I feel like I'm surprised. Ah! Hmm, what if you were told that you have to go out on stage and sing a song and you're like, I don't like going on the stage because I'm so shy. So when you're shy, your body language changes along with your face. If you're shy, you might be like, you might hide behind your shoulders. Some people might hide behind their hair, maybe their hands. Oh, I'm shy. Don't make me go on that stage. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Excited? That could be kind of like surprise, right? I'm excited. Yes. It's almost the end of the day and I'm going to go swimming. I'm excited. I'm super excited. And I bet this is going to be your favorite one. Your friends are coming over for a sleep out, sleepover and you're going to be like this. Yeah, I'm silly. You're going to have the facial expressions in your body language of being silly, right? So your emotions are silly emotions, right? And your feelings, I'm feeling so silly, right? So look to your neighbor and show them silly, right? So those are all different kinds of, of faces you can make to show your emotions or how you're feeling. Are y'all ready to get started? I want you to put your First piece, uh, your piece of paper in front of you, I want it to be vertical, tall in front of you, all right? And I want you to get a black crayon, okay? Now, I want you to find the center of your paper, the very center, and put a little dot with your black crayon, okay? You got that? And I just wanna let you know, I know that this looks like it's gonna be hard to draw, but guess what? I had to practice several times till I got it on my paper just right for me. So as long as yours is just right for you, I am okay. We're gonna go one step at a time and draw this eagle and everyone's is gonna look just right for them, okay? Don't go ahead of me though, all right? Okay, we're gonna draw a vertical line that's gonna be the center of his beak. Look at his beak. Okay, it's gonna go up. Do you think this is gonna be tall enough to start our beak? 
That would be a very little eagle. They have very big, strong beaks. Okay, watch. Okay, look at my beak. If yours isn't tall enough, make it a little bit taller. Okay. The next line we're going to make are gonna be these two curved lines. It's gonna start at the bottom where our dot was, watch. Curve up, curve up. Two curve lines. That's this line right here, okay? Everybody got that? Perfect. I want you to find the middle of this curved line and put a little dot, and the middle of this curved line and put a little dot. We're gonna make this hump line that's gonna go all the way to the top of our tall vertical line and go back to the other curved line. Watch, I'm starting at the dot, I'm going up to the top and back around to my dot. Everybody with me? Okay, here we go. We are going to now, cur we're gonna make a line that's gonna go around the end and over to our point. Watch, stay with me. Watch me for a minute. I'm gonna start at our dot I'm gonna go around it and back down to the point. We're making like, I hate to call them lips, but it looks like lips that are by his beak. This is where his mouth is. It's this line that we're making right here. See this? We're gonna do the same thing on this side, watch. Start at the dot, go around your curved line and down to the point, okay? You got it? Good. Let's see, I'm gonna color this nice and dark. You can go ahead and fill it in like that. So you can really, really see it, okay? Good job. Now, he has this little piece that goes over his beak, which is where his nostrils are, the holes that he has in his nose for breathing, okay? So you're gonna start again at that dot, these two dots, and you're gonna go, what? Let's let's back up one second and draw one nostril here and one nostril here. They're kind of floating outside of the beak right now. We're gonna go around the nostrils in just a second. We've got nostrils. Give me a thumbs up for nostrils. <laughs> All right, start at your dots. Go around your nostrils and back down to your dot. Perfect. We've almost made his whole beak. All right, now we're gonna make his eyebrows. Remember those big socket protectors? Okay, ready? We're gonna start up here at the top. On the side, we're gonna make a diagonal line on this side and a diagonal line on this side one on each side. It's this right here that's protecting his eye. Okay, you got it? We're gonna do a nice circle for each eye. Big circle, big circle, okay? So what makes a bird a bird? Does anybody know? How, why a bird is a bird. They're different from alligators. They're different from, what else? Insects, right? So a bird has feathers, a bird has wings. They lay eggs and they're warm blooded. A bald eagle is like a large raptor, but it has a big white uh, feathers on his head and brown feathers on his body. That's what happens when they get to be older birds. An eagle, when he's a younger eagle or an immature eagle, he's almost all brown, okay? And guess what? A bald eagle is not really bald. His head is filled with feathers. I don't know why they call him a bald eagle. Okay, inside of our circles right here, let's put his eyeball. Look, 
two nice dark black circles. Okay. Everybody have eyeballs. Sometimes I go back and if I want to make my eyebrows darker, I can add a little bit darker black. Sometimes I go over it a few times till I get it just right. Okay, so this is his big hooked bill. Look, look at from the side, it's hooked. It curves down, right? And so for it to look hooked when it's looking straight at us, it looks a little bit different. So we're trying to make it look like it's a hooked bill, okay? Um, usually their, um, their beak and their legs and their feet are bright yellow and their eyes are a little bit lighter yellow, okay? All right. Now we're going to make his, um, the difference between his head and his body. We're gonna make a zigzag line that goes across our page, okay? It's not right underneath his beak and it's not way at the bottom. Watch, it's about, well, let's say a few fingers below. We're gonna do a zigzag line, nice and big zigzags, okay? And it's not touching the sides. Go ahead and make your zigzag line. How's your eagle looking so far? Does he look happy? No, he can't. He can't show his emotions or his feelings. He doesn't have the same muscles as we do in our face, right? Okay, everyone have your zigzag line. Okay, so his head is a big hump line. It goes almost to the top of the page, okay? If we put a little dot up here at the top, in the middle, not all the way at the top, we're gonna go all the way around and meet up to our zigzag line. Watch. One side, and the other. This is a mature bald eagle. That's why he has a white head and a brown body, not just a all brown body. Okay, ready? Here we go. All we're gonna do is two little curved lines for his body, watch. It's right above the zigzag. Goes right here on the right and right here on the left. Got it, two little lines. Okay, so go ahead and get your, let's get orange crayon out. Here's my orange. And we're going to make an orange line around the outside of his eye on both sides, one on the right, one on the left. Don't color in his eyes orange because we're going to do those yellow. And then watch me for a second. Everybody, just watch me do my orange and I'll give you a little chance in a minute. Watch. I'm just going to kind of trace next to my black lines on the inside of his beak. Maybe down the middle. Maybe a little on the end. On the side. See, I just added a little bit of orange. Go ahead and add a tiny bit of orange on your bird's beak. Did you know that eagles weigh like 17 pounds? They're very big birds. They live to be like 20 or 30 years old in the wild. They're like four feet tall. Kindergartners are like four feet tall, right? They're as tall as you. All right, get your yellow yellow crayon, and I want you to color in your eyes. And guess what, it's okay if it blends with your black because it just makes him look even cooler. And you're gonna color in his beak by his nostrils and his mouth. Okay, get it nice and bright. Remember he's got bright beak. Good. Give you a little second to do that. 
You know, bald eagles used to be an endangered species, but they made a good comeback and they were removed from the federal endangered species list in 2007. So they're not endangered anymore. We're, we're not scared that we're gonna not have bald eagles anymore because we're taking care of them now, right? And guess what else? Bald eagles can see forward and to the side at the same time. Can you imagine if your teachers could see forward and sideways at the same time? All right, we're good and done with yellow. You can put your yellow away and go ahead and grab your black again. We're gonna make his feathers on his head, okay? You ready? They have lots and lots and lots of feathers, so we're gonna do them together. Watch, around the top of his beak, I want you to do lines that go like this, watch. It's a bunch of little straight feather line. The more you can put, the more feathery he's going to look. So up above his eyebrows, I want you to go ahead and add as many feathers as you can. It's your turn. Go ahead and add some feathers. You know, bald eagles are, nor are usually found in North America near large lakes and rivers where there's lots and lots of fish, right? They really love to eat fish and they swoop down with their big talons and they grab the fish out of the water and they take them back up to their very big nest, which usually weighs, weighs around 2,000 pounds. They use the same nest year after year. So their nest gets bigger and bigger and bigger because they add more sticks and leaves and maybe some little twine or grasses to it to make it stronger and better for the next year. A lot of times you can see eagles perched in large trees near shores or bodies of water, right? They better be big trees and strong branches to hold those big birds, right? All right. So we're gonna go ahead and now add his feathers by his eyes. Oh, they're much littler by his eyes. Make little lines by his eyes. And they kind of go around his eyes to the side of his head. Look at that. They're just little lines everywhere. He's full of feathers. Remember, he's not really bald. His feathers are everywhere. Go ahead and add little feathers by his eyes. I wonder what else a bald eagle might eat. Hmm. I mean, they might snatch fish out of the water. They eat ducks, other little birds. They love to eat rabbits, other small mammals using their big, big sharp talons, right? All right, let's go ahead and now our feathers are gonna to start to go down to that zigzag line. Lots and lots of feathers. How's your eagle looking? I love my eagle, it's perfect for me. What do you think? Go ahead and add some more feathers to your eagle's head. Don't do anything on his body yet. That's a different kind of a line. You know, you can sometimes see when you're driving across a big long bridge, you can see a big eagle soaring through the air. They kind of soar, they kind of fly almost flat, right? Almost flat and you can see them like flapping their wings in strong, strong beats, and they perch on the top of the trees near the water. Keep adding your feathers till you have enough. We're not coloring it in. He doesn't have a black head, right? He has a white head full of feathers, okay? Good job, everybody. I know it's a lot of work adding in all of these feathers, but it's gonna look amazing when you're done. I'll give you a few more seconds to add all of those feathers. While you're doing that, 
I want you to think of some different emotions or feelings that we didn't talk about that you might be that you might feel sometimes. Right? Did we talk about sad? I think we did. All right, you ready? We're going to do the feathers that are on his body, okay? And they're a little bit more, they're a little bit longer curved lines. Watch, like this. Look. They almost could be the letter V all the way down, all over his body, off the page. Right? Why don't we see his whole body? Why aren't we drawing his wings? There's a couple of reasons. One, our paper isn't big enough. And two, we're just showing the top of him from his chest up. Like this bird, it's a close-up, like a selfie, right? Like he's taking a little eagle selfie. He's close up. If we were farther away, then it might look like this eagle, right? All right, go ahead and put your tall, your long feathers on here. Sometimes I added a little bit of black at the bottom of the feathers. I just kind of wiggled in a little bit of black to show more texture. Remember, we talked about texture last week, and texture is showing the way something feels. And since we can't really glue feathers on this paper today, we have to make it look like feathers. So our cup lines make it look like feathers when we put them close together, right? Okay. When you are, I'm gonna give you a few more minutes to add that, maybe color in a little bit of the black at the bottom. When you're done with that, you can go ahead and put your black crayon down and grab your brown crayon. How's everybody doing? Give me a thumbs up if your eagle's looking amazing, right? You thought this was gonna be hard to draw. Hmm. No, when you go step by step and you talk about lines and shapes and direction, then it's easier for you to draw, okay? So we're gonna take our brown crayon. We're not gonna color too dark in here. We're gonna color nice and light. I kind of wiggle my crayon around in little tiny circles until I color in all of his brown feathers at the bottom. It might blend in with your black, but that's okay, just like we talked about before. And then sometimes I take my brown, you can see I colored it a little bit darker here so it would show a shadow on his neck. I would just color in a little bit darker in my triangles and on my edges. Look. Look at that. Looks like he has a shadow, right? Like here's my chin. Sometimes there might be a shadow under my chin. And if you want to, you can even come back with brown and make a shadow on the feathers, right? Here, I'll give you a little second to color that. While you're coloring that in, I went ahead and colored my, black, my background with blue, but you can do the background any color, probably not brown. I wouldn't leave it white. Maybe you wanna do red. Maybe you wanna do purple. I chose blue. I thought maybe this sky might be a good idea. I think y'all did an awesome job. Today was super fun. We talked about bald eagles and bald eagles being the symbol for the United States of America. We also talked about emotions and what makes a bird a bird. Thanks for creating with me and I can't wait to see you next week.